Hello, welcome back. I've actually got round to doing another review. It's, oh, it's so hard to get them done at the minute with the idiots running round. They're just they're trashing the place. Power of the Asbo dogs, I'm telling you. Asbo dogs. But they're funny at the same time. Anyway, on to today's. Now, you should have seen two videos I've done oh, a while back now. And one of them will pop up top right hand corner of your screen. Up there. Don't click on it now, click on it if you've not already watched it and watch it after this video. And that was of Dynaclass Irish Recipe Curry Sauce. And I liked it, it was nice. And also, if you check a bit further back, I did one, it was Chippy, Mr. Chippy Chip Shop Curry Sauce, something like that. Chippy Chips Chip Shop Curry, I don't know. I couldn't say it when I, when I actually reviewed it. So check that, that was a proper, a proper chip shop curry sauce it even got the little 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 bits of dried apples in there as well and i thought that was banging because it was proper chip shop curry sauce but the irish one apparently they have up north round here we have the one the chippy chip shop thingy bob but up north they have the irish recipe and that's nice as well banging banging on chips both of which you can get online now we're doing another diner class one now this one i've had a look and you can get it online uh, if you type in Diner Class Curry Sauce, click on one that's, I think it's Bromfield's Butchers, something like that, and they do this in this size packet as well, and it's 350. And bearing in mind, you don't need all of this, you only need a bit just for your one meal, for your chips. So it's gonna last a while. It's, I think, 350, but you'll have to pay postage. But if you search around online, I'm sure you'll get it on Amazon or somewhere else that's a, a bit cheaper on postage, I don't know. But it is Dynaclass Curry Sauce Mix. Now on Bromfield's site, the butchers, it says about this, that this is chip shop curry sauce. So this is really going up against the first one I did, not the Irish curry sauce, the chip shop, chippy, Mr. Chippy chip shop curry sauce I don't know. can't remember what it's called you'll have to check that little blue packet this as with the other two was sent to me by Stuart cheers Stuart and we are going to do this in a little tub in the microwave again it does tell you that you need to use if I can get my words out uh, mixing ratios of 100 grams to half a litre of water well I ain't doing all that I'll, I'll just divide it that, that 100 grams again i've got 25 grams i think so there's just enough to do for the uh the review and then add the water it says bring to the boil while stirring simmer and allow to simmer so i'll say that again shall i bring to the boil while stirring and allow to simmer for 15 minutes i ain't doing that i'm just putting it in a little bowl in the microwave keep stirring it after every 20 seconds or so and it's done in a, a fraction of the time so Let's see if this is proper chip shop curry sauce. Is it going to be as good as the chippy chip chop chip chop tippy chip chop sauce I did? Uh, let's go and see. Is it any good? So out of the dinghy machine it took about ooh, eight minutes, something like that. And look not a bad consistency that's what i associate proper chip shop curry sauce to look like there is i'll have a look on the ingredients i don't know if that's bits of onion or bits of apple again it is a slightly different consistency to the chip shop chippy mr chippy chip chop chip shop curry sauce thing you know what i mean when you watch the video about the old one i just can't remember what it's called but that does look all right so it's a bit bit more cloudy, bit thicker in consistency than the chip shop chippy one. And uh, let's go to the table and let's see. Does it taste like a proper chip shop curry sauce from round here? Because I know up north they have a different one. Mmm. See you at the table. Right. The snoz test. Mmm. Smells like chip shop curry sauce. But... It does smell different to the, the the blue packet I did, the Mr. Chippy Chip Shop Curry Sauce, something like that. That smells exactly like the Chip Shop Curry Sauce we get around here. This smells like it, but slightly different. There's a slightly different smell to it, so I think this might be slightly different to what we get. I don't know, but let's have a look what's inside it. It doesn't mention apple, so I think these bits are like, you get dehydrated onions and that sort of thing. So I think it's them. 
So it does smell all right. It smells good. It smells like a chip shop curry sauce, but slightly different. Like I said, you'll know what I mean if you buy it and smell it. Let's taste it. Let's see. In we go. Bottoms up. Yeah, I think they're dehydrated onions. You can actually get one as well. It does say it underneath where it says curry sauce mix with sultanas. If you're that way inclined and a bit weird, you can have it with sultanas. This one's all right though. Yeah. Right, let's get into that one. Rate him. Thumbs up. Now that is three curry sauces I've done. Two diner class and one Mr. Chip. Chippy chip, I'm not doing it again. That one as well, they all got thumbs up. The Diner Class Irish Curry, Irish recipe curry, Irish curry recipe, whatever it's called. Can you see I can't get my words out today. It's the dogs, they've just, they've, I've on brain belt down, running around after them all day. That is completely different. The Irish curry is really nice. This is really nice. And this is, depending on where you live, this is a proper chip shop curry sauce. Now the, the Mr. Chippy one I did, on the little blue packet, check back on the channel, you'll find it. Just type in, search on our channel, uh, chip shop, and it should come up. Or oh, curry sauce, something like that. That one was exactly what we get around here in the chip shops, the Mr. Chippy one. And this one, I have had in a chip shop around here, or oh, more, more than one. But I actually prefer the Mr. Chippy one. I'm not saying this is bad, it's, it's got the thumbs up, and I'm saying get some, because... If you want a proper chip shop curry sauce, don't get your granules that you see in the supermarkets. They're, ugh, they're never very good. This is what you get in a chip shop, depending where you live. Mmm, proper chip shop curry sauce. I think I might have had this one and this style of chip shop curry sauce when we've been to Scotland. Banging, banging. Cheers to it. If you like this video, thumbs up. Drop your comments in below. Have you tried this one? Have you tried the Irish curry? Have you tried the Mr. Chibi one? Are you going to get some? I recommend you do. It's not mega expensive. It's at 350 that will last you quite a while if it's just for one of you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It's free. And don't forget the link below this channel will be for our other channel, which is well, basically it's ours, but technically it's the Mutts because it's Brillo and Mouse, their own channel. Check that out because... You probably won't get any more videos on this channel of the two little dogs and the pups and the days out with them and everything. You might get it on the out and about section now and again, but if it's mainly featuring the dogs, it's going to be on their channel. So links below this video, go and check the channel out. There's a two or three videos on it at the minute and give them a subscription because they'll love you for it and you can watch them grow and the mischief they get up to because they are the little asbo dogs at the minute and we'll catch you on another one. Ta-ta! Thank you.